1776 is said to be the date that the United States claimed independence from Britain. Although some historians believe it actually took place July 2, 1776. If you do your research, you will find that in 1776 there were still slaves in America. This was evidenced because there were slaves in Texas who didn't even know they were being freed. Until around 1865, after Abraham Lincoln caught wind of this and sent a Texas general to fight the Confederates in Texas to free the slaves. I want to stop and say this as a side note. Abraham Lincoln, or no other man, is my Savior. The only Savior I have is Christ the Savior. We should stop praising and making heroes out of man and recognize that it is the Most High Creator who uses these people to make them do certain things and he can use good or evil as he chooses. And another side note, there's a back end to this Abraham Lincoln stuff because as I understand it, Abraham Lincoln really didn't want to free the slaves. The way they give you the story in history is as if he cares about slaves and everything. But you're going to find, if you really do your research, that there was something in it for him and he only did it because it started crippling the union or the economy at the time and there's a lot to that if you do your research which I can't get into all of that here furthermore upon research you will find that the United States is not even a country it is in fact a corporation a corporation that is owned by the Queen of England so go figure. Given this fact, how free, independent, or separate are we really from Britain? Anyway, there is obviously more to this political side of truth, but I'll stop here. Now let's go on to the spiritual aspects of the 4th of July. Before beginning with the spiritual connection to the 4th of July, I just want to make it clear that the cycle and the movements and all of those things, the position of the constellations itself and how things are going in the atmosphere and all that is not evil. What makes it become evil or sorcery, as the Most High Creator would put it, is when people study these things and try to do things in life or plan things in life around it or toward it to get some sort of outcome you know that's when it becomes evil and you'll see what I'm talking about when I speak about it of course many will see it as not being evil these same people you can call sorcerers because that's what the most high call them uh, you're not supposed to try to beat time or do things as if you're God in this earth by studying the atmosphere and how the constellation works so just to be clear, the constellations and the stars and how things work up there and all that, that itself is not evil. In fact, the Creator made those things. However, man took it upon himself to, to, to try to intervene with these celestial beings and try to make their own path to whatever Satan is trying to do in this earth. Moving on to the spiritual connection of the 4th of July. This world, for those that haven't figured it out yet, is ran on mystery, Babylonian, sun worship, principles, and rules. Basically, it's a religion. And many of the things in this world, such as holidays, clubs, organizations, institutions, beliefs, fashion, trends, traditions, they're all constructed using cycles and movements of the constellation, the sun, you know geometrical positions of the Sun and of certain stars and all that kind of stuff the British Romans elite rulers etc of this world is making everyone in the world give homage and honor to Satan through Sun worship and that is the God honest truth the 4th of July is no exception the 4th of July is connected to none other than the star Sirius Sirius is said to be at least five times bigger than the regular sun and goes by many many names the black sun the dog star lord of cyrus blazing star eastern star silver star of heaven isis and many many more there's a time of year when sirius connects with the sun that's what this is all about and i'll get into that in a second sirius is connected to a lot of different things in this earth 
and a lot of other movements in the constellation. But for sake of the video, we'll stick to what happens during the 4th of July. On or around the 4th of July is a time period where Sirius connects with the Sun. Now, astrologically speaking, a conjunction is the strongest aspect celestial bodies can have. So to the people that study these energies and cosmic, you know, functions, it's a big deal. It means that they can get certain things done in this earth that they're trying to do. Of course, it's outside of the Creator's will, but, you know, they think they're on a higher level of consciousness. So Satan would have them believe anyway. Now annually, during the first week of July, the Earth and the Sun are the furthest distance from each other. This event, plus the Sirius and the Sun conjunction, creates a significant spiritual alignment. Supernaturally, from what I understand, portals, gateways, and stuff like that are supposed to be opening because of this conjunction with Sirius and the Sun. So while they got you celebrating the 4th of July, and cooning, and eating barbecue and all this stuff like that, there's a deeper, sinister plot going on. Spiritually. Folks, it's a spiritual war, and it has always been a spiritual war. Now remember, there's always a political or carnal storyline to everything that goes on in this earth. But remember, the war is spiritual, so you should not take your eyes totally off of the spiritual side. This is exactly how Satan comes in and robs us all blind putting us all on the wrong team because we don't understand the things that we're celebrating and becoming a part of. Many of the things they have us doing is hidden in iniquity. That's the name of the game. It's hidden. It's not going to be outright where you recognize it goes against the Creator. It's going to be hidden. That's the mystery of iniquity. So let me explain this conjunction a little more so that you can understand what's going on and why they attached it to the 4th of July. Sirius, first of all, is made of two parts. It's, it's, it's got a smaller dwarf-like uh, star, kind of like, that hangs in the same energy with Sirius. It's, it's really part of Sirius. That's why oftentimes when you see it on the chart or whatever, you'll see Sirius A and Sirius B. That's what Sirius A and B mean. There's a smaller dwarf-like white star that's a part of Sirius, the big star. They're together from what I understand. Just to explain the chart so uh, you don't get too confused. So this chart represents the conjunction. When Sirius and the Sun conjuncts together, this is known as the star constellation made up of three parts a b and c this conjunction is associated with the hottest days of the year hence the term dog days of summer which it is represented by the dog star sirius the brightest star in the sky known to many who follow the energies and movements of the constellation as the spiritual sun some conscious communities as well as other religious groups have been known to even call sirius the star of christ consciousness and again, there are many other names that they call this star. Side note, because I didn't mention it, but celestial beings such as stars and the sun and all that type of thing that's up there in the galaxy and universe, a lot of those things are supernatural beings. They're not what you think they are. But I can't go into that in this video because it's quite a lot to cover about these things. So hopefully in your free time, you'll do your own research on stars and planets and what kind of beings they really are. So when Sirius conjoins with the sun, it is believed to be a movement that has energies for independence, freedom, and liberation. Hence the reason why they chose the 4th of July to celebrate the so-called independence freedom of the United States from Britain. And I say so-called because, like I explained to you earlier, the United States is not a country. It's a corporation and it's owned by the Queen of England. Again, so go figure. And it just goes to show you how they lie about things. So in turn, you're not celebrating your independence and freedom and liberation away from Britain. Because we know now that the Queen of England still owns America, so you never really separated in the first place. What you are celebrating, though, is a deeper, sinister thing, and is hidden in iniquity. 
you are celebrating your independence, freedom, and liberation away from the Most High Creator. That is celebrating your independence, freedom, and liberation away from the Most High Creator. That is what you're really celebrating on the 4th of July. They just tied it in with the theme of 4th of July and all of that. They gave you a storyline, and as you can see, that storyline is falling apart because now we all come to find out America is a corporation and Queen Elizabeth of England owns it. I want to make note that the Bible speaks of this star as the Star of Moloch. It has many other names from culture to culture, generation to generation, people to people, group to group. Nation to nation, organization to organization. You get my drift. But in Acts 7.43, the tabernacles of the Moloch and the Star of your God, Ranfant, this is the star it's referring to that they made to worship and everything known as the tetragrammaton and it's highly honored and esteemed in this earth it's all on national flags police departments use it the masonics the royals islam it's on military vehicles the russians japanese chinese the red five-pointed star is seen on russians and chinese fighter jets and bombers Iraq is using it, Macy's, Walmart, other corporations. I mean, it's everywhere. Religious and non-religious sectors. It's just everywhere. Pay attention, y'all. After a while, you start comparing things that's going on today to the Bible, and you realize that this is Mystery Babylon all over again. And Satan is running this kingdom. That star is the true morning star that the Bible speaks of. Sirius is Satan and a lot of people use that star for witchcraft and sorcery and that's what is being used for in the earth it's hidden in iniquity they use it and say it's for different things but at the end of the day that's what this star does I even see sleeping Saints wearing it wearing it for jewelry and things like that in fashion and think that's cute without knowing the true spiritual demonic history or purpose of it there's a spiritual history to a lot of things in this earth and it all goes back to ancient Egypt and the worshiping of the celestial beings the mystery religion that was going on in Egypt is founded on worshiping the star Sirius Egyptians weren't the only one doing it the Sumerians did it the Romans did it the Grecians did it I mean, and these cultures still do it today. A lot of cultures still do this stuff. So now let's talk about the flag, because you can't have the 4th of July without the flag, right? Well, even the American flag was constructed using the constellations. While I won't go into every little detail about what each thing mean, I'll just say this. The number of stars, the stripes, all of it's tied to the star Sirius. The colors red, white, and blue is said to be the color of Sirius. Star. The big part of Sirius is blue. The small dwarf part is white. And there's a red flare or something. And so they decided to make the flag for the USA, Mystery Babylon, red, white, and blue. Just like the colors in the star Sirius. So the flag represents the star Sirius and they have you pledging allegiance to this thing and then the pledge even have the statement under God and no one stops to think which God because the God of the Bible wouldn't have you pledging to a flag and liberty and justice and all that you gotta know that you pledging some serious things and you're not pledging it to the Most High Creator you're not just pledging to a flag you're really pledging to the spirit behind the flag and the spirit behind the flag is none other than Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star in the sky, the morning star, the fallen star, Satan himself. And this is what the 4th of July celebration is truly about. This is the spiritual war that goes on every single day hidden iniquity in plain sight it's all about star and sun worship and all that stuff in this earth wake up please 
There are evidence of hieroglyphics and artifacts left behind from the ancient civilizations like Egypt and Romans and Grecians and all those people, Samaritans. They've all done the same stuff and it's just being carried on from generation to generation throughout time. They're practicing the ancient ancestors uh, religion and a lot of our ancient ancestors were lost. They were not following the Most High. They were following these fallen angels and we still doing the same stuff today. Of course it's hidden in iniquity. The iniquity is hidden. Of course now the way they do it, they make sure they hide the iniquity. And they call it 4th of July and make you think that you're celebrating something that you're really not celebrating. It's a spiritual war people. Wake up. And if you look through the scriptures, there's all kind of scriptures that speak against this stuff. It's called sorcery to the Most High. So, you know, hey, this five-pointed star, that's what it's all about. It's all about Cyrus, the Tetragrammaton, which is Satan himself, Isis, and many other names. Do, it, do the research, people. It's all there. It's all there. We can't say that we don't know now. So, you know, you're gathering with your families and barbecuing and parading and doing arts and crafts and making cakes, singing allegiance songs and pledging and, and all this stuff to Cyrus. And not to mention you proudly drag your children and everybody else into this stuff and not understanding what you're giving your energy to spiritually. So, please, please do your research. If you have the ears and the spirituality in Christ the Savior, you will see what I'm talking about. But if you're giving heed to all of these different sciences and things that's in the earth and uh, mystery religions and trying to achieve a higher level of, of consciousness, dealing with celestial bodies and energies in the earth, you will not understand what I'm saying. So this video is not for you. But I know without a doubt you'll still stick around and listen so you can criticize and think you know what you're talking about when you're in the matrix. So hear this if you don't hear anything else. Whether you know it or not, you're participating in the sun worship, which equals to Satan worship. Many of you know what you're doing, but there are a percentage of you who naively is doing this stuff. Because it seems you're getting true results, you're diving in deeper and deeper and deeper, and it's going to wreck your life in the end. I'm also going to say there's a science and a math behind the whole equation of the stuff. It's very well calculated, but there are a lot of risks in a lot of stuff. That's not being told to you. Uh, the devil has kept a lot from you but giving you just enough to keep you interested and keep you going in his sick and twisted game of sun worship is very very sick and is very very wicked this earth runs on mystery babylonian practice and worship i have many more things to say about it but i think i'm gonna wind this video down and in here but at the end of the day it all comes down to sun worship once again. This time the celestial being that's being raised and exalted in the earth is Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. The morning star. The same morning star that the Most High kicked out of heaven.